So uh, this is going to be the first magazine I ever shoot out of this thing. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. We might be on, might not be. Let's find out. Off the bat, I love guys that triggers. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes whether or not it's the actual gun or the trigger that's actually making the shooting experience, you know, um, as enjoyable as it is. And, and this trigger is no different. So as I... The cheek weld on this SMB brace is not optimal for me. Um, I kind of really have to get down on it. I don't know if this thing is even on at that distance. We're about 160, 170, but I do kind of have to really bear down on it. I could probably change that with the, uh, changing the height of the mount, but Nonetheless, I mean, think about it. I mean, you drop this down, put this in a little backpack, it's a force to be reckoned with. Let's see, let me take some shots over here. We're out. This will be a great, great gun for a new shooter, starting off new, starting people off for new shooters. Um, I wouldn't even put a pistol in their hand. I put one of these in their hand just because it's so easy to shoot and so manageable and so fun to shoot. And then from there, kind of walked them into everything else as far as pistol platforms, rifle platforms, so forth and so on. But I think submachine guns or uh, pistol caliber carbines are the way to go for new shooters just because the recoil is so light. Um, it's an enjoyable shooting experience. This Geisley trigger is, let me see if I can figure out which, which trigger this is, just by dry fire. I'm going to say that is the SSA E? No. Combat. I feel like this might be the SSA combat trigger, if I'm not mistaken, from Geisley. Um, but no, I mean, this is dope color desert tan or uh, FDE, whatever you want to call it. I never get the names right. I always assume everything is tan, but FDE, MPXK with the SMB brace. I likes it. I likes it. I really like this Romeo sight as well, too. Might see one of these in my future. One of the initial complaints that I had about the Glock Gen 5s when I dry fired it before actually shooting it was the trigger. I like a solid wall on my trigger. The Gen 5s don't have a solid wall on their trigger. However, after shooting it in live fire with my 19, I, I'm kind of kind of fond of the trigger. Um, still not optimal for me. I still like to have a flat, well-defined wall and a clean break, which the other one had a, more or less a clean break for it being a Glock. But it didn't do what I wanted to do from a typical sense and what I'm used to. So one of the guys out here at the range decided to clean it up a little bit and uh, make it the way that I'm used to. Well, he didn't do it for my gun. This is somebody, this is one of the members here at the Rangers Guns, and he wanted me to try out the trigger on this 17 Gen 5 with some attention done to the actual trigger, stock trigger of the Gen 5s. And that's the trigger that I can live with. Not that I can't live with the stock trigger, it's just that this trigger is closer to what I'm used to. So from that perspective, I'm probably gonna end up getting the same thing done on the trigger I have on my 19, but that's not to say that I don't like the trigger on the stock Gen 5s. I just like having a well-defined wall. And as you can see, oh, come around on this side. With this trigger, you have a well-defined wall. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 right there. And then when I want, I stroke through it, right? Or press through it, boom. I'll show you what it looks like on a 19. On the 19, or at least on my Gen 5 19, which is completely stock, trigger is 
And I don't know if it's gonna translate visually. Cause the law is not that definable. It just kind of squeezes all the way through instead of hitting that, that stopping point. So you just kind of squeezes through versus the other one, the other 17 that had the work done on the trigger, I had a definable wall. But like I said, it doesn't make the gun or the trigger on the Gen 5 a one hated for me. I just prefer to have a solid wall. This one doesn't. Still like it, just not ideal. I may be a little biased, but to me, a pew pew life is the ultimate lifestyle. Can you think of another lifestyle that protects your freedom, protects your life and the people that you love, puts food on the table, helps you bond with family and friends, and provides you sports and recreation? I can't. Can you? And now you can add hydration to that list with the new line of Pew Pew Life drinkware. The Pew Pew Life tumblers and bottles are made from stainless steel and feature a double wall vacuum insulation that keeps drinks cold for 24 hours and hot drinks hot for 12 hours. I think it's safe to say that there is no better way to stay hydrated while showing your pride for the lifestyle we all love and cherish. So click the link and order your drinkware today. And remember, the Pew Pew Life equals the people. Real quick before you go, I want to talk about the guide I put together titled, If I Could Carry Only One Gun. In this guide, I talk about which gun that would be and the reasons why. So be sure to click the link in this video to download your free copy today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Colin Noir, and I'm out.